Okay, so I'm going to speed this video up even to five instead of three. So my process goes a little bit quicker through these parts because it's a lot of glue in and my washi tapes. So those I just use from my stash and I'm using a stencil and inks from my kit. So I'm using the stencil with some white gesso and then the packaging technique I used um, my distress oxides. So I'm just seeing, making sure that the lengths I'm doing my washies, they are visible. And so now I'm decided that I don't have to bring them all the way across because the photo is my paper layer and the photos are going to cover this area. And then this is the last one. And then I say, oh, hey, I am on the, at the bottom, so I need to make it go across. So I'm going to ink the edges. <clears throat> and so that layer there is Fiesta Vibes by Kim Watson called Love Me. The background was Basil cardstock from the cardstock add-on kit. And this is my niece Jada in her boots. That's why this is titled These Boots Are Made For Walking. And these, what I'm putting down now, that tag and that llama card are from the cut apart sheet crepe paper good vibes called so chill I cut those <clears throat> I'm sorry Pam So I am going to use some floral rub-ons and I'm going to do three embellishment clusters, top left, bottom right, and then the top right of the photo on the right. So that way I have that visual triangle and then I'm also going to do the rub-ons next to going next to the embellishment cluster in the top right and to the left of the embellishment cluster on the bottom right top left bottom right and then I add sequins but those will be added in within the three embellishment clusters but this one I just have like um, scattered the hearts and the rub-ons going from the top to the bottom because it kind of draws the eye down and then I added I needed I wanted to use up some of the hearts so that is why I scattered those around and now I'm going to go through my my die cuts and I do there are die cut hearts too that I use as well as stickers so it's just a matter of positioning them 
and instead of cutting this part out, I just, so I can just leave my whole process in there, because this is what scrapbooking is about, I just increase the speed from three to five. Because this is probably my longest video because of my whole process. Um, so the epoxy hearts that I'm going to be using are Pink Fresh Studio, Let Your Heart Decide. The rub ons are Pink Paisley, Pick Me Up. The puffy heart stickers are Pink Fresh Studio. Those came in the January kit, I believe. All those die cuts I'm using, those are Pink Fresh Studio, Let Your Heart Decide. And those butterfly stickers that I added, they are, hold on. Excuse me. They are the Maggie Holmes Flourish butterfly stickers. <clears throat> so I'm just trying to find some more die cuts that I can use and in... oopsies, you hit your face. In those areas. I'm gonna use that hummingbird. Goodness, my cat's getting too big for my lap. Yeah, I have to say, Patton is like the most beautiful black cat I have ever seen. He's beautiful. Especially when you see him and he's sitting with his tail wrapped around him. And he's just sitting there just as straight as still as could be. Yeah. Yeah. He's my baby. <laughs> All right, so. I'm adhering everything down. Here's where I get my stickers to start adding. I'm going to add, I should say. I was going to make homemade pancakes, but you know what? French toast almost sounds really good, too. Because I actually have bread. I bought some because Alex made us beef stew the other night. And um, I like I don't like to eat it just 
stick it in a bowl and eat it. I prefer it over toast. And here's where I pull out my sequins. There's my little cup that I keep all my um, enamel dots and sequins in it. That's a picture I put in there because I'm like, I'm going to scrap that later. But it, I cut it small so I didn't want to lose it. I know you haven't. So I said your first fever, and it was very slight. It wasn't even really a fever. It was, it was um, ninety nine point one, so it was barely a fever. Those are called low grade. They're not even of any concern. What about when I fell with one hundred? Well, then it's getting a little higher, because see, your body temperature is ninety eight point six, and your temperature was ninety nine point one. So it was barely a fever. It was because of the pillows. They make my head get warmer. Well, well, and you have a cold, so maybe that was a little bit. And things are going around school, so fevers are going around school. So it was just a matter of time. And I haven't been giving you your immune system juice either. So I need to, we need to start doing that and how we used to do that. I need to make you some because I'm going to juice for myself in a little bit. The yeah, I'm going to get it. I'm not done with my video. I'll be there in a minute, okay? Okay. Alright. Alright, so now is the last of the gluing of the sequins. And then I will do my title. I know, Pat. <laughs> the whole of them like you, the baby. Yeah, I know. He tried to sneak the paper. No, stop, because then he'll bite it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we don't have much toys for him. We need to buy him some toys. Like a mouse toy? Yeah. <laughs> I used to have a mouse that moved by itself and then the cats are supposed to chase it. Alright, so when I do my title, and they do, I use... They don't um, play that swingy thingy. No. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. That's why I gave it to Pete. So these are and made are small letter stickers from my stash. Boots and walking are Dear Lizzie desktop stickers. Four is Hip Kit Club Alphabet Stickers. And then that's what I use for my title. And once I get that done, that pretty much completes my layout. So I'll let you finish watching. And when I have more done, I'll be back with those. Thanks, guys. Bye.